Hello viewers, welcome to Argus Sports TV. Chris Hewden has been named the new Black Stars head coach, Kudus scores again for Ajax, Osman Bukhari on the scoresheet and Sulmana's magic performance. Kindly subscribe to this channel, let's begin. The Ghana Football Association announced on Sunday that Chris Hewton has been named the new head coach of the Black Stars. The position became available in December following the resignation of Otto Otto and after a thorough search, the association decided to entrust the job to Hewton, who boasts a wealth of experience having managed in the Premier League. Hewton will be assisted by George Botang and Masudidi Dramani both of whom previously served as assistants to Otto Otto. The Ghana Football Association has the pleasure to appoint Chris Hewton as head coach of the Black Stars following extensive deliberations between the two parties, a statement on GFA website read. The appointment is in line with the vision of the GFA to continue with the project of building a formidable squad that started with Otto Otto in the lead-up to the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 tournament. Mr Hewton has been the technical advisor of the Black Stars for the past 12 months. The GFA has also decided to maintain assistant coaches George Boateng and Masoud Didi Dramani. The three coaches were part of the technical team for the World Cup in Qatar. Details about the duration of the contract and terms of engagement would be announced in due course. The new coach brings a wealth of experience to the role, having served as a technical advisor for the team during the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. With his extensive knowledge and experience, Hewton is poised to lead the Black Stars to success. Black Stars new head coach Chris Hewton will have his first test next month following his confirmation by the Ghana Football Association with immediate effect. Hewton will lead the Black Stars for the first time in March when they face Angola in a doubleheader in the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations qualifications in Cape Coast and Luanda respectively. Hewton's last job was at Nottingham Forest in the English Championship from October 2020 to September 2021. He has also handled clubs like Birmingham City, Norwich City and Brighton and Hove Albion. The former Irish footballer was assistant manager of Ireland between January 2003 and October 2025 and also assistant manager of Tottenham Hotspur from July 2001 to October 2007. Ghanaian politician Sam George has reacted to Chris Hewton's appointment as the new coach of the Black Stars. The Member of Parliament in an interview on Joy Prime revealed that the Ghana IFA has decided to appoint Chris Hewton as the successor of Otto Otto following the latter's resignation from the role after the Black Stars' exit from the 2022 World Cup. According to Sam George, the decision has been made long ago as the Ghana FA intends to appoint someone they can have control over. Ajax coach John Heidinger has showered praises on Red Hot Mohamed Kudus after producing another man of the match performance in the victory over RKC Walwauk. The 22 year old scored as Ajax came from a goal down to beat Walwauk and close the gap on league leaders Feyenoord. Kudus has been the best player for the Dutch champion since Heidinger took over as first team coach. We know he has exceptional qualities. It's up to me and coaching staff to make him even better. With the ball, he can dribble, create an overload, assist, and score goals. I think we should be happy Kudus is playing at Ajax," he said, after the 3-1 win. Walwau got off to a great start after netting the opener in the 17th minute through Matt Sunchens but Ajax responded in the second half through substitute Brian Brauby. Urian Timber gave Ajax the lead before Kudus sealed victory with a stunning strike. The Ghana international has netted eight goals in the Eredivisie this season. Mohamed Kudus was named the man of the match. Ghana winger Osman Bukhari on target as Red Star Belgrade thrash Vozdovac in Serbia. The 24-year-old started for Red Star in their away trip to Vozdovac as the Serbian Giants secured a 6-0 win on the road to strengthen their position on top of the table. Red Star got off to a great start after Geller Kanga broke the deadlock 15 minutes into the game before Bukhari doubled the lead four minutes later. Alexander Kata extended the lead six minutes later as Red Star went into the break with a comfortable 3-0 lead. After the break, Alex Vigo added to the tally before goals from Kings Kangwa and Microko even each sealed victory for the Red and Whites. Bukhari has now scored five goals in 16 Serbian Superliga games. Kamaldine Suleimana made his first Premier League start for Southampton at St Mary's and impressed with his performance, even though the team lost 2-1 to Wolverhampton Wanderers. Despite the defeat, Suleiman has shown as he made eight successful dribbles out of 13 attempts during the game. This impressive feat made him the first player this season in the Premier League to complete eight dribbles in a single match. The 20-year-old Ghanaian has been making waves in the football world and has caught the eye of many European clubs. His debut in the Premier League came during a half-time substitution in the match against Brentford, where he showed flashes of brilliance leading to his start against Wolves. Although Wolves attacker Adama Traoré had the second most dribbles in the game, 
he was still four successful dribbles behind Sulmana's impressive performance. The Ghanaian's energy and hunger on the field were evident and his display has only added to the growing hype surrounding him. The former Ren attacker's eight dribbles was the most completed by a player in their first Premier League start since Paul Pogba in 2016.